Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope that you're having a good day so far. Just as a reminder, there's no school on Monday. So you uh, will not be getting assigned any new assignments in any of your classes on Monday. So really take that opportunity to catch your breath, get caught up on the assignments that you need to, and put yourself in a good place for when we come back on Tuesday. So for today, you're going to start with this word parts assignment number one. So you go ahead and click on that. This is just a quick little assignment working with the word parts that we focused on for the week. So this should take you maybe 10 minutes or so, maybe less. What you're going to do is choose one of the word parts that we worked with for this week. And you can choose any of them. It's really up to you. And you will write this word part and its meaning in the first box. I'm going to go ahead and click this blue link to pop this out into its own tab. Okay, so you're going to pick one of these word parts and you are going to write it down here. So you've got hyper, in, ill, im, ig, ear, bene, ped, pod, ible, and able. So you'll pick which word part you want and write it down right here. Um, I'm actually going to do one from a couple of weeks ago to show you an example. So you cannot use this one, but this is what you'll do. So let's say I'm going to use auto. And then you write the meaning. So for me, that would be self. Right? So if you had hyper, it would be over. Right? It just depends on which um, word part you pick. Then you're going to go to this website to find additional examples of words that are created with that word part. So for me, I'm going to pick auto, but like here's able. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here's bene. So you can see there's all of the ones that we have gone over. They are on here, so you just have to look for them. They're in alphabetical order. So here's auto. Okay, so now I'm going to pick five sample words that I have not used already in the presentation. Okay, so maybe I'm going to pick autopilot. And then it gives me a definition for autopilot. So I'm just going to copy that definition, come back over here, paste it in, write in the word autopilot. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for all of the other five words. Okay, so all five words come from the same word part. And you can just use this uh, tree here to give you the meanings, okay? Then I'm going to find a picture that represents the meaning of that word. Now, the easiest thing to do is to just do a Google image search. So let me show you that. So I'm going to go, and I'm mine was autopilot, right? So I'm just going to type in autopilot, and I'm going to click over to images, okay? So I'm going to pick an image that I think represents the meaning of autopilot. I think this one looks pretty good. I'm going to click on it. And instead of taking a screenshot or downloading it or anything, all I'm going to do is do a right click, which is in, on a Mac, it's a two finger click. So I'm going to click with both fingers at once. And then I'm going to go down to copy image and I'm going to select copy. And then I'm going to go back into my word parts assignment and I'm going to do command V, which is paste and it pastes it right in for me, okay? So you'll do that same process for, uh, for five total words. They should all contain whichever one of the word parts that you selected, okay? So that is what we are starting with for bell work. Again, this should maybe take you 10 minutes or so. If it's taking you much longer than that, then maybe uh, reach out to me and see if I can give you some help so that it's not taking you quite so long. So once you've finished that, you can just submit it here on Canvas, and then you can go back to our announcement and continue working for the day. So we are leaving behind the world of the most dangerous game, and we are moving on to The Cask of Amontillado, which is a short story by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe is a very famous and very prolific author, so we are going to learn a little bit more about his life because it really had quite an influence on his writing and his themes. So what you will be doing is watching a video. Um, it's a biography of Poe, and you can click the link right here, and it will take you to the video. It's on YouTube. Um, make sure you restart it if it starts in the middle. I don't know if it'll do that on yours or if it's just because I've played it before. But um, 
you will watch this video about Edgar Allan Poe, and there are questions that We'll pause that. There's questions that go along with it. So as you're watching, I would have the video open in one tab and then have these questions open in another tab. So questions just sort of follow, they go in order, they follow along with the video and the life of Poe. Um, so you will answer these questions. Um, I don't care as much about complete sentences in this assignment just because some of the answers do come pretty quickly. Um, so just make sure that you get the information down. And then there's some questions to answer after viewing. So a lot of these just ask about just general comprehension. Did you watch and understand the video? And then these ones are a little bit more your own opinions and thoughts after the video is over. So um, Edgar suffered many losses, both in his early and later life. Based on your knowledge of his life, what can you predict about the mood of his writing? So that's just a prediction, like what do you think his writing is going to be about? And you'll get a little bit of a sense of that from the biography video anyway. Uh, number nine is what is the most surprising fact that you learned about Poe? So it can't be something that you already put up here, right? It needs to be a different fact. And then what is your impression of Poe after viewing the video? So like, what kind of person do you think that he is? What do you think about him um, in general, right? Do you think that he's interesting, weird, <laughs> like creepy, uh, happy? What do you think about him? So that's just sort of a place for you to jot down any other ideas that you have about Poe. Finally, the last thing for today is just a reminder that your article of the week assignment is due today. So though please make sure that you're getting that turned in. I have the link to it right here. And then your creative writing is due by Monday. Again, there's no school on Monday, so you will have no new assignments. So please make sure that you're using that time to catch up on missing work if you have any. Our question and hour sessions are down here for second and third hour. So if you have any questions, please let me know. You can also email me, send me a Canvas message, send me a Google chat, whatever you need to do, and I'll be happy to help. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you all next week.